The Vigilio Barco Library Project was really the, the most groundbreaking work I've done to date. It all started in Miami, hauling all of my lighting gear to Columbia with the expectation of what was to come. This was no ordinary photo shoot. The difficulty is a little bit hard to describe. We were working in an extreme urban environment. The way this project started with the visit with Mike to the little project in Colombia and taking him around in a touristy way and start just mutating into something bigger and bigger. An aesthetic that's hard enough to pull off on a manicured luxury home. Not to mention trying to do it at night on the streets of Bogota, Colombia. Es la obra más completa que dejó el arquitecto Rogelio Salmona. The idea of Rogelio Salmona creating these sinus and organic shapes with bricks and materials that are inherent to Colombian geography. Of several locations I looked at and I was completely floored and blown away. So it was me and Mike decided to get ambitious and try and pull off two shots in one night. To get 120% of everything we had and leave everything on the field. Wet and cold. Shot one, dusk, and it's raining. So I got together the very best crew I could find, enough money to fund and finish the project, and encased my determination in steel, because I knew to make this project even close to being successful. And the library is in the center of Bogota. Inside, all you see are the mountains, and just outside your window, a water effect that sort of moves in one direction, making you feel like you're spinning, alleviating the mess of the city. Ver fotografías como con ese carácter es poco común. And this is the beauty of this project, is to show one static frame or something that we consider absolutely beautiful. I did it because it was the most difficult urban photographic challenge I'd ever seen, on a structure that was never meant to be photographed in this way. I hope a thousand years from now somebody sees the images and feel what it was like to be there. <laughs>